it has been very strange to spend these last miraculous days in Sri Lanka, these 12 glorious days that I've just had the honor of spending with a really wonderful and profoundly impassioned group. Because while we've been here in this oasis of beauty and peace and calm, the whole world has been convulsed by the coronavirus. And I'm beginning what I have to say by that, because what that taught me is how deep the tradition, the ancient tradition of Buddhism goes in this country. It's as if Sri Lanka, for all its checkered past and its recent history of violence, is still under a very profound blessing, a blessing of the Buddha's visit to Sri Lanka three times, a blessing of the ancient heroism of the Theravadan tradition, a blessing of the great cultural transformations that Buddhism over time has wreaked in this country. Because the people understand, and I've been told this so many times, that the one way to heal what has happened is through a deeper peace and a more profound compassion and they know that that peace and that compassion streams from a really serious practice of the tradition that they've loved for so long.